for the hundredth time, the dark blues meet the light blues for their traditional annual boat race. At Putney, Oxford, who won the toss, take the Surrey side nearest the camera. A wise move, for it promises to be pretty choppy out in the middle. Mr. Attlee is in the crowd, who watch them get away on their four and a half mile journey to Mortlake. Both eights forget their nerves and settle down quickly. Oxford are soon just a fraction in front, striking at about 38 a minute to their rivals 36. Race number 100 is obviously something rather special, so both crews are determined on a superhuman effort today. Not that there'll be any records broken, the water's far too rough for that. The dark blue, superbly coxed by W.R. Marsh, pull steadily away. They're the lighter crew of the two, but rumour has it that they've reached their absolute peak at exactly the right moment. Certainly, they seem to be showing the better style already. Cambridge, stroked by M.J. Marshall and coxed by J. Tanburn, are still striking slightly slower than the Oxford crew. Hammersmith Bridge is ahead. Oxford are about a quarter of a length in front now. Owing to the cost of holding the boat race, there has been a threat that this will be the last one on the Thames. But you can bet Londoners won't take such a decision lying down. They won't let an event like this move away from their doorstep without a struggle. Along by Chiswick steps, conditions worsen. Oxford are still going well, holding their lead from the light blues. Cambridge are shipping a bit of water, and they're about four and a half lengths behind at Barnes Bridge. Harrison the Stroke calls to the dark blues for an extra effort as they near the finish at Chiswick Bridge. Cambridge whip up their stroke to 35, but they won't catch their rivals now. Oxford, still four and a half lengths ahead, come racing up to the line. Superb coxing by Marsh, who outmaneuvered his rivals all the way, plus perfect teamwork by the whole eight, adds up to a win for Oxford. In they come, rowing easily and still looking fresh enough for a couple of miles more. For the 45th time, the victory goes to Oxford.